I say Lucas Torreira is the best all-round player in the Premier League. That's and as far as all round defensive work, offensive work, midfield work, so shooting, passing, tackling, defending, everything. So that's my so much. So indirectly, indirect. So, 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 okay. So, so, so the question is, do you feel Lucas Torreira is the best all round player in the Premier League? And where would you rate him right now? Or no ranking tier three or tier two, Manny? Uh, no, no. Oh, no, he is okay. If uh, he, just because he has one good goal. So this is it. If if you don't think he is now, tell me who is the best all round player in the Premier League. So Mane. It's it's simple. The best number ten on the planet. Even if he's injured, De Bruyne is still the best overall. So player. De Bruyne is a, is a better it's... tackler than Lucas Torreira. <laughs> <laughs> he all offers right, more. What, whatever uh, Torreira offer, offers in tackling, De Bruyne offers way more uh, in terms of other. Uh, pro- productivity in the game, like uh, scoring, assisting, creating chances, key passes, all that he does much, much better than Torres. So whatever ta- two or three tackles he does per game extra, it's nothing compared to the attacking <laughs> to the force that is the broken. So, you know, yeah. Okay, okay. And, and, and where do you rank Lucas Torreira as of right now? Uh, I would say he's probably Arsenal's best midfielder, better than Ozil. But I would rank him as... Sh- Maybe top fifteen in the Premier League. Top fifteen. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. The, here. Yeah, I think Torreira is one of the best players in the Premier League. Obviously, that goes without saying. And you're right. I think as an all-round player, there's a there's a good argument to be made that he might be the best all-round player in the Premier League. But I still think it's a bit too soon to give him that tag. Maybe we have to wait until the end of the season to see if he can carry on this form. As far as Arsenal is concerned, it's pretty clear to see that he is their best midfielder. You can see the improvement that Shaka has made since um, Torreira's arrival now. He looks more steady, more consistent. You know, um, Where would I rank Torreira right now? Um, in his position, I think he's maybe one of the best players in the world in his position. Potentially. Whoa. Potentially. <laughs> Damn. That's, current that's form, big I would say. That's big talk. Current form, yeah. And, right. and and I just want to add, I just want to add, he's definitely mm. the best signing of the summer. Oh, yes. I mean, I mean, you know what? Like, I said it was going to be Jorginho. Doesn't look look that way. It's probably going to be this dude, Torreira. So, yeah, I, I've got to co-sign that. FG, Torreira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I agree with it here. I think it's too early to say he's the best all-around player. But I do think, I think he's definitely the best midfielder in the prime, without a doubt. Okay. All right. Um, Forward. Okay, look. He, he's had a great start, obviously, to his life at Arsenal. He is the best midfielder yeah, in Arsenal. Because obviously, it's Arsenal at the end of the day, right? Um, but let's not get too carried away. I mean, he came from Sampdoria, and he was good there. He was a very decent little player, but I mean, he's, he's hardly scored over 10 goals in any league season. I mean, maybe the most he's had in any league season is three. So. What about this? What he's done currently for Arsenal this season? I don't care about Sampdoria okay. this season. Okay, let's look at it like this, right? Kante won the Premier League with Leicester, but it took until he did it with Chelsea for people to then start saying, okay, he's one of the best in the Premier League or in the world. It's only been, what, 10 games and he's on, and he only and he didn't start any of the first five, so let's hold our horses here. I mean, come on, he's he's had a great start, yeah, yes, well, but we can't be telling me now he's the best all-round player in the Premier League when he doesn't offer well, many goals. If anything, that's going to be Pogba because he offers goals, he offers defensive work, he's a physical beast in the middle. Yes, he's, he's in terrible form Pogba. right now. He's in terrible form right now, but are we going to be... a disaster class against Southampton? That dude. It was, it was a disgraceful performance. Yes, but are we going to be... Let me finish. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Thank you. Are we going to be so short-sighted that we're going to just base it off of, what, 10 games? Really? Pop has won a World Cup. Pop has done it for Juventus, done it for Man United. Torb has been there for five minutes, and we're going to give him the best player in the Premier League. Four. I'm no, we not wait, doing it. You see, four. We're not doing it. Wait, 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 wait. Just easy, easy, relax. Do you know what I don't like about what you're saying is that I feel that to be fair, I do things on form. That's why. That's why. Whenever I do my rankings, I, I do my rankings on form. Because if I did my rankings based on just what you've done in in, in totality, it would it would never change. Then people would, would just be stuck at where they are. So no, 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 no. I I know how good you are. Prove it. Prove it to I me. Feel, I feel be good now. Be Pogba like, right now is like playing like a bomb. So that's a fact. But he just won the World Cup a couple months ago. I think at least maybe you need to be given like two, three years worth of context to it. Because ultimately, if you've only done it about five or six minutes, then let's say you're Suso, one of the best players in the Premier League, or he's one of the best players in Europe. But we obviously know Suso is not that guy because he's not been doing it for a long period of time. So that's just one example I'm giving to you guys. Terra's been doing it for a little while, but let's not jump the horses here. Let's okay. not. All right. Okay. Um, Hazem. 
Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, I think he's the best all round player in the Premier League. And like, obviously, uh, I watched him when he was in Sam Doria. He was always amazing against Milan all season. And obviously, this season, it's another example of a Serie A player uh, going into the Premier League and dominating. And uh, yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, so, 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 you do believe that he's the best all round player in the Premier League? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Kadim Torreira, hit me. <clears throat> yes. Like, um, from the games I saw from this even, season, it's definitely one of the best performances um, of a midfielder. And I personally also really like the skill set of Torreira. Uh, He's like a more um, stable version of Casola. Mm. And I think this is really what Arsenal need, needed, somebody who's quick in the center because uh, Chaka isn't that, he's not quick. And um, at the same time, his passing um, range is really wide and uh, much more precise than uh, what Cazola um, did back then. Mm. He's um, like, Cazola was a more attacking minded player. So you could see that he's taking more risks um, yeah. other than um, Torreira. So uh, like really good, uh, also t in tackling, he's like a tag actually really good um, fit for this Arsenal team and um, it's like from this game also um, like the whole midfield this whole setup I really liked it with Kola Sinac on the left and Bellerin on the right with Chaka and Torero in the middle it's it's like really I was really impressed by the whole um, team of uh, Arsenal and of course it was not a good um um, situation for Leno, but I think it's not like, uh, like, yeah, really bad, uh, serious. So overall, I'm, I'm agree with you that like this was person, uh, what I, for, for what I saw this season, one of the best, um, performances of the Premier League midfield player. But, 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 but do you think he's the best all round player in, in the Premier League right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Like, for okay. me, midfielder is like somebody who needs to defend and needs to attack and he needs to keep the game going. And um, from from what I saw, because De Bruyne was like injured a lot. And uh, yeah, I, I simply like Torreira as a player. Like, I saw him the first time at uh, Arsenal, the beginning of the season, I really thought that it's a good signing for Arsenal. And um, I'm happy now that, yeah, I was. Proven right. Okay, <laughs> Jujuma. With with Terreira, I, I would I would agree with Ford. I think it's too too soon to make any judgments. Plus plus the other plus Tottenham are not a big team, and I I need I need I just need to see him under Fair. under huge pressure. I need to see him how he performs. If he delivers under huge pressure, then uh, hands down, hands down. But it's I think it's, it's I'll say it's too soon. It's too soon. Oh, okay. wise man. All right, okay. very wise Red. man. Yeah, no. Uh, tier three, tier three, not the best uh, all-around player in the Premier League. On current form, there's an argument, but overall, it has to be Paul Pogba. But uh, yeah, it, it, pretty much, I he's tier three. He's tier three. He, I don't, I don't think he's done it consistently enough for us to put him as the best. Like forward said, he's only been around for five games, started five games. Um, let's see, like by the end of the season, what happens, and then we can start talking about being the best all-around. All right, toss it. Yeah, man. Uh, Torreira is great. Uh, great midfield controller, utterly fearless, demands the ball at all times, you know, eager to get into tackles. And, you know, Dele Ali la uh, last week, he actually, they, he bossed Jorginho, but today he couldn't live with Torreira. It was, and that's why Torreira's kind of been likened to Verratti in a sense, because mm. they have their, their, they have that pit bull like. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, are, they're, 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 they're fighters. They're fighters. They're fighters. I mean, Verratti is like, overrated. He's like, he's like Gary Medel. I, I see him as like a mixture of Gary Medel and Verratti too, like in that sense. Like, and no, man, Torreira is a baller. I, Honestly, I don't think Arsenal are keeping him beyond these. Oh no, no, next... no, no! I think, as someone said, as he's <clears throat> going to Barcelona, like if he keeps going as he's going, I don't think Arsenal can keep him. Oh, also, also, by the way, him. hot we'll take. I don't care. We here for the hot takes. We come in with the hot takes. Okay. Torreira's Conte. much. Torreira's much better than Conte. Yes. Please. Oh, oh, get you. Yes. Get you. No, no, that's right. facts. I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry, yes. bro. I, I, Actually, I'm you know what? You know what? Okay, you know what? Let, wait, 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 wait. You went better than Zema, man. Easy, easy, easy. Before I go to A one. 
Please that respect is not day. too crazy a statement to make. I think crazy? you're wrong. I think you're wrong, but it is not too outlandish wait, wait, a statement how, to make. But I still think you're wrong. Okay. Um, That's completely wait, easy, crazy. Guys. Easy, easy, easy. I'll get to you. Retry. So A A one. Since you've just joined in, so the question is: Do you feel that Torreira is the best all round player in the Premier League with regards to defending, passing, forward, and attacking? And how do you rate him? What, in on the, current form. On current form. On current form. Yes. On current form. <sighs> yes. He's tier two. T- no, easy, 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 yeah. easy, one, relax. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't you know, don't, don't put him in, easy, relax. Okay, let's just put him in tier three. Oh, don't no, put him in, oh, no, no, tier two, you'll, put, you'll soon put him in tier two. You'll see, man. Because the guy can tackle, he can do defensive work. He's a DM, and plus, as well as that, he can pass forward, he can break lines. And when he gets into goal-scoring positions, he scores. Thanks for watching the video. Now, think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the Football Hot Patreon page. Peace. Head over to the official site at halfhopefootballhot.com or just click over here.